Nephi introduced it in the very first chapter of the book. In verse 20, we read, Behold, I, Nephi, will show unto you that the tender mercies of the Lord are over all those whom he hath chosen because of their faith to make them mighty even unto the power of deliverance. Many years ago, I came to know in a very personal way just how near our Father in Heaven really is and just how much He desires to help us. One evening, as night was falling, I was driving with my children when I noticed a young boy walking along a road. After passing him, I had a distinct impression I should go back and help him. But worried it could frighten him to have a stranger pull up beside him at night, I continued driving. The strong impression came again with these words in my mind, Go help that boy. I drove back to him and asked, Do you need some help? I had a feeling I should help you. He turned towards us and with tears streaming down his cheeks said, Would you? I've been praying someone would help me. His prayer for help was answered with the inspiration that came to me. This experience of receiving such clear direction from the Spirit left an unforgettable imprint that is still in my heart. And now, after 25 years and through a tender mercy, I connected again with this boy for the first time just a few months ago. I discovered that the experience isn't just my story. It is his story, too. Derek Nance is now a father with a family of his own. He, too, has never forgotten this experience. It helped us lay a foundation of faith that God hears and answers our prayers. Both of us have used it to teach our children that God is watching over us. We are not alone. On that night, Derek had stayed after school for an activity and had missed the last bus. As a young teenager, he felt confident he could make it home, so he started walking. An hour and a half had passed as he walked the lonely road. Still miles from home and with no houses in sight, he was scared. In despair, he walked behind a pile of gravel, got down on his knees, and asked Heavenly Father for help. It was just minutes after Derek returned to the road that I stopped to provide the help he prayed for. And now, these many years later, Derek reflects, The Lord was mindful of me, a skinny, short-sighted boy. And despite everything else going on in the world, He was aware of my situation and loved me enough to send help. The Lord has answered my prayers many times since that abandoned roadside. His prayers aren't always as immediate and clear, but His awareness of me is just as evident today as it was that lonely night. Whenever the dark shadows of life blanket my world, I know He always has a plan to see me safely home again. As Derek expressed, not every prayer is answered so quickly. But truly, our Father knows us and hears the pleadings of our hearts. He accomplishes His miracles one prayer at a time, one person at a time. We can trust that He will help us not necessarily in the way we want, but in the way that will best help us to grow. Submitting our will to His may be difficult, but it is essential to becoming like Him and finding the peace He offers us.